Hello, this is the headlining news around the East African region. From Uganda, a defiant police officer who has been trying to resign from the force has been demoted. Assistant Superintendent of Police Mohamed Chirumira has been demoted to Inspector of Police after facing charges of corruption and misconduct. Chirumira, generally regarded by the public as a hero, has repeatedly accused his superiors of supporting and running criminal gangs, saying the charges against him are malicious and trumped up. From Kenya, High Court has halted plans of Kenya's Communication Authority of planning to spy on mobile phone conversations. The regulator had wanted Safaricom, Airtel and Telcom Kenya to install a data management system, arguing it would help in detecting fake mobile devices. On Thursday, the High Court judge John Mativa rejected the plan, saying he was convinced that installing the data management system was an infringement on mobile subscribers' privacy. News coming in from Tanzania. Azam Sports Federation Cup will be held at the Sheikh Amori Abate Stadium in Arusha on June 2nd this year. This was announced on Wednesday by the Tanzania Premier League Board Chief Executive Officer Bonfas Wambura. Wambura also said that the win of this year's title will take home 50 million shillings and will represent the country in the CAF Confederation Cup next year. In Rwanda, President Paul Kagame has said that even with the recent signing of the African Continental Free Trade Area, African leaders must work to improve the business environment for citizens to fully benefit from the trade deal. Kagame was speaking in the United Kingdom at the Commonwealth Business Forum, organized on the sidelines of the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. Wednesday's Business Forum convened government and business leaders to deliberate on whether Africa's growth story is still alive and well. Finally, from South Sudan. The South Sudanese presidency has dismissed allegations saying that the presidential advisor on military affairs, Daniel Awet Okot, is under house arrest. The presidential advisor on security affairs, Kutkwe Gutruk, said he was unaware of the top aides detention. That was the news around the East African region.